Continue, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so what Paul now is, is, is bringing to us is, you know, uh -huh. so let, let, me, mm -hmm. let me read from, there, there's a version called the Moffat mm -hmm. translation, okay? It was written yes, in the 1900s, yes, Moffat translation, an old yes, version. Sir. It says that, mm -hmm. now let no man lay down rules for you as he pleases mm -hmm. with regards to mm -hmm. fasting and any mm -hmm. cult of angels presuming mm -hmm. on his visions and inflated by his sensuous notions instead of keeping mm -hmm. in touch with the you know, so he's talking about something very interesting here. The person is mm. inflated in his, when we say sensuous notions, like his, mm. his, like I said to you, that in the, in the law, God dealt with them from the senses. Mm. But in grace, God deals with us from the spirit. Okay. So in grace, we enter okay. the realm of the spirit to encounter angels and God. Mm. But in the law, God comes from the realm of heaven with his angels mm. to intrude into our space to encounter us. Mm. Mm. Okay. And he's saying that when yes, the sir. person comes to this place of Gnosticism, what is happening in the spirit mm. is that the person is inflated mm. with a certain ego. It's a feel good mm. attitude. It's a feel good. Oh, I mm. feel anointed. I feel, I feel I'm a Christian. I, it's like everything is a feeling. So I'm telling you something very seriously. Anytime you get into the place where you go like, anytime I pray, I don't feel God is hearing me. God. You are entering this thing that Paul was diagnosing. For instance, when you wake up in the morning, number one, you don't feel you're a human being, but you know you're a human being. <laughs> number two, you have siblings. Sometimes you don't even feel they are your siblings, but you are related. There are days your siblings or your parents will show you love. You feel it. There are other times they don't show it. So if you don't take care, People have to ask you, like, yeah, that's my brother. But there's no feeling to, he's my brother. There's no uh, yeah, special but, feeling yeah, that that's but. my brother. Yet the fact that I don't feel that that's my brother does not mean that he's not my brother. So the fact that you don't feel God does not mean God is not your father. Hallelujah. Number two, two he didn't ask you to feel the prayers being answered. Aisha. Number three, he didn't say faith is a feeling. Faith is a knowing, not a feeling. So it's not feeling, it's knowing. Knowing. The moment you mm. enter feeling, you are entering the problem mm. of Gnosticism. You want sensuous, mm. sensuous approval. Like sometimes you are, you know, there are, of course, there are days you pray and you have such encounters. So beautiful. Yes, and sir. there's a yes, tendency sir. to feel like, oh, I remember those days. The park, those when we days. used to pray in the park, we, and you could just feel like a cloud will appear. And, oh, we just know God was with us. So is God still with you? <laughs> He's still with you. Uh, He's still with you. But you have to understand that it is not a feeling. Because the moment you enter that sensual yes, stadium, it gives you yes, a certain sir. external, unreal approach yes, to God. Sir. Yes, sir. Because you, you, it's all a feeling. It's all a, it's a feeling. It's like a feeling when you are praying, feel goosebumps. Say, hey, God was here. No, cool. it's not about that. In mm. fact, there are times, in fact, let me tell you something by experience. Okay. 80% of the times we don't feel God in the service. He's mostly there. Sometimes yes, he's, he is heavily there. Because let me show, I, I, mm. I shared this in the, in the ministry that when God appears in the meeting, listen, when God releases his power in the service, there is sensuous manifestation. People fall down, chairs are broken, screaming here and there. That's the power of God. But when God comes himself, there is silence. God grips the atmosphere. Everybody is quiet. There is a certain holy reverence. It is in the presence of God. Scripture said, be still and know. It is in God's presence, stillness is achieved. Oh. Stillness oh. is achieved in his presence. Oh. So Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 6, that woe is me, I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. Isaiah was like, I won't talk again. Oh. I can't talk again. That's what God's presence does to you. When God shows up, you can't talk. So if you're a pastor and you are listening to me, or you remember and sometimes you are preaching and you realize that nobody is responding, everybody is quiet. Sometimes the Lord is there. That's why the meeting is like that. Very <laughs> you can hear a pin drop. Sometimes those are the most powerful meetings that the yes, Lord is in. Yes, sir. Do you know? yes, so sir. Jacob said, Aye. after his encounter at Bethel, <sighs> that the Lord was here 
and I did not know it because he wanted some means to prove that God was there. God said, he was there. He said, but I didn't know it. So there are many times, the Bible says, one, two, or three are gathered together by the Lord in our midst. There he is, he is, he is with us in our midst. When I meet Pastor Isaiah by the Holy Ghost and by the instruction of the Lord, as we are talking, it looks mundane. But I tell you in the spirit, the yeah. Lord is there and is Aye. watching, beholding our manner of conversation. Exactly. Angels are making notes about what we are talking about. They are, the Lord is feeling clapping. And we think it's just us talking, but we are surrounded with such a great yeah. cloud of witnesses. Yeah. And we are just beholding yeah. our beautiful conversation. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you don't know he's there. You don't know. The Lord is at your morning devotion in your house. With all your sleepy oh. eyes and your yawning in the morning, early in the morning, and like, oh, let's open our mouth and begin to pray. The Lord is seated there. He is seated there because you are gathered into him. <laughs> you are gathered into him. Or oh, have you not checked scriptures? God does mighty things with a multitude, but he grooms and builds capacity for mighty things with a few. Mm. So sometimes you go for a meeting father. and the people are just 50 and you expect a thousand. Mm. Smile. He's come mm. to build something. Mm. He's coming Hallelujah. to build something. Listen, anytime God is about to build something glorious, he will let mm. few people show up. It's not mm. that you didn't do enough announcements. He needs mm. a few. Mm. 300,000 soldiers. Mm. I need 300. Mm. I don't need that mm. 100,000. I just need 300. Mm -mm to do this job mm. because I need to build a system. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Now, <laughs> the next one, 18, Glory. 19, all right? Glory. Today, I have to finish. I got to finish. <laughs> I got to finish. I got to finish. <laughs> I really have to finish because... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, chapter 19, sorry, verse 19 says, and not holding the head... Mm. from which all mm. the body by joints and bands having ministered mm. nourishment and knit mm. together increased with the increase of God mm. and not holding the head. And why he's saying not holding the head is because remember in mm. 18, he's saying that we are yes. validating our worship on our senses. Yes, sir. How we feel, how our yes, body sir. reacts to our Christianity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rather than holding the head, which is Christ. Mm. Mm. And what mm. Paul is communicating here is so amazing. All right? So amazing what mm. Paul is communicating here. And he says, not holding the head. And the word not holding is actually... <laughs> it's actually... Not, it's the word kratio. And kratio yes, is actually not... Or to use the strength or to use power, to use strength or to use power. To use strength mm. or to use power. What it means is this, that when you translate it, then it means, and not using the power of the head. Mm. Mm. So it means that I'm using my own oh, will yeah, to, be, to be humble. Mm. I'm using my own will mm. and I want, to, I, I want to encounter angels. I want to have supernatural encounters. Mm. It's like, you know, mm. you hear someone's testimony, oh, I was praying for three weeks and all of a sudden the Holy Ghost mm. appeared and it was like, so it's like you hey, Papa, without the instruction of the Holy uh, Ghost, you are going to uh, orchestrate that encounter. You too, you are going to do three uh, weeks without the leading of the Spirit. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Hebrews 11 said... By faith, we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. And Bible says that mm. in from verse 4, he said, by faith, Abel offered a better sacrifice than his brother. And Bible says, mm. God had respect unto his sacrifice to the intent that mm. righteousness was imputed to him so that he being dead, he mm. yet speaking. Then verse 5, mm. he comes to talk mm. about how Enoch walked with God by faith. And he had mm. this testimony that he pleased God. And Bible says, and by mm. faith, without faith, it is impossible to please God by his day. Rewarder of mm. him that did not see Then he comes to verse 7, he begins yes, to talk sir. about Abraham. He begins to talk about Isaac, mm. how by faith they received strength mm. to conceive Sarah and all that. Do you know he spoke about all mm. these mighty men and women of God? And in verse 40 mm. of Hebrews 11, he said, they without us mm. are not made perfect because God has reserved mm. for us something better. Mm. And Hebrews 12, mm. 1 says, we all, mm. being surrounded with such a great cloud of witnesses, of let witnesses. us run with the race that mm. is set before us, looking unto Jesus. Mm. What he was saying was that Abraham, Hallelujah. Isaac, Sarah, all the people he listed, um, 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 what do you call it, um, Balak, Samson, all mm. Gideon, all the people he listed, 
actually he calls them in verse, verse chapter 12 verse 1 as witnesses mm. Mm. they are not our goal abraham is not our goal mm. abel mm. is not our goal enoch is not our goal they are witnesses and they, they are witness mm. to the substance so he said looking unto jesus who is the author of the race all these people mm. have run mm. and the finisher mm. of the race the means by which they were able to finish and the reward mm. at the end of the race for all these people. Mm. So he's saying that it's beautiful mm. you are looking at these people, but they are just inspirers. Mm. Jesus is the substance. Mm. Mm. Jesus is the substance. So he said, and mm. not holding the head, because you have to break away mm. from sensuous notions and begin to hold the reality, mm. which is Christ. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. And look at what he said now. <laughs> so to use the strength of the head, that's what the, the Greek says, mm. to use the strength, yes, to use the strength of the mm. head. So if I'm going to be mm. humble, I'm not using Adam's strength, I'm using the strength of Christ no. to be humble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I'm going to have a vision, it's not me trying to fast and pray for a long time. I'm, I'm on the, listen, let me even shock you, brothers and sisters, let me shock you, let me shock you, let me yes. listen to this very yes, well. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Do you know that you can have 10 prophets? Some can see angels, some will not see angels. You can have mm. those, out of those 10 prophets, some will have encounters with Jesus Christ once, others 10 times, others every day. Others yeah. to see heaven. Others to see the coming blessing of the life in Christ. Mm. Others too will not see beyond the word of God. Yeah. I know a prophet in America and his wife, actually, they prophesy by writing scripture. So when they see you, they just start. John chapter 7, verse 14. John chapter uh, 8, verse 22. They mention scriptures. So when you go and you read the scriptures in that scene, uh, sequence, everything is sequence. like God talking to you. Yes. Everything is like God talking oh. to you, paragraph by paragraph by paragraph. And they, that's how God uses them to prophesy. They, they mention scriptures to you. So as you read the scriptures, when you get to your house, you realize that he exactly what God was telling you. From scriptures, uh -huh. there are different effects, and the reason is this: God designs some people to have encounters with the Lord. Look at scripture. Uh -huh. Elijah uh -huh. ministered with anointings heavy. Uh -huh. John came uh -huh. in the spirit of Elias, but there's no record John healed the sick. Oh, true, sir. Yet he was also Scripture. a prophet. And the strange yes, thing was that he was even greater than all that has come before him. That's what Scripture says. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. he didn't just announce the coming of the Messiah like the others. Isaiah prophesied about Christ. But he announced and oh. saw his announcement. Oh. He didn't even just see his announcement. He also laid hands on the announcement. Oh. That's what Jesus said. There's none greater than this one. This one, he didn't oh. just prophesy my coming. He also saw it oh. and touched it. Oh. No, oh. Isaac couldn't touch Christ's head, but John put his hand on Christ's oh. head, dipped him into the water, because Jesus said, suffice it, it now that we fulfill all righteousness, because he had to impart as a priest of God unto Christ, the son of the world. So, so if you even get into that, forcing God to... Some, listen, <laughs> we'll get there in chapter 3. I mean, when we start there, you understand what I'm saying, what is the thing I'm saying. So when we get to the next one, you understand what I'm talking about. The strange thing about it is that some people have been designed to see the Lord Jesus Christ in a vision once. And yes, they will beg God to see angels. It's not part of their calling. It, God has not demarcated that act for you. you it's, so you will see it. The beautiful thing about life is that learn to celebrate who has what you don't have. Yes. Sir. Because in the body yes, life, sir. God will put around you in at least 10 people around you, the very thing you are looking for. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So out of 10 people around you, the people who see visions you can't see, they are there. The people who have wisdom you don't have, they are there. The people who have depth in God that you don't have, they are there. So all you have to do is just pa, 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 collect it, then you are fine. I'm, I, I'm not That's too cool. good a singer, so I like to work with Pastor Isaiah. When he sings one, two, three, I just tap his singing anointing. I also start. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Laba. Right now, he's not singing, so I can't sing. When he starts singing, I can't sing. Uh, 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 it's called glory. the spirit of synergy. And holding the head. <laughs> and holding the head. 
and holding the head 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 brothers and sisters holding the head holding the head and he says using the strength of the head okay losing the strength of the head from which all the body which is the body of Christ by yes, joints sir. and these joints and mm. ligaments if you go to mm. Ephesians chapter 4 he mentions that group of people okay yes, Ephesians chapter 4 mm. uh-huh. Ephesians 4 mm. he mentions them in mm. Ephesians chapter 4 remember in verse 10 he yes, says sir. he gives some apostles prophets teachers pastors mm. evangelists uh, yes. you know aha uh-huh, from mm. then verse that's 11 then 12 says for the mm-hmm. perfection of sins for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the mm-hmm. body of Christ then verse mm-hmm. 13 says that we all come to the unity of the faith, to the knowledge of the Son of mm-hmm. God, even unto a perfect man, mm-hmm. to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, mm-hmm. that we henceforth be mm-hmm. no children, tossed to and fro by every, and carried away by every wind of doctrine and slight of men mm-hmm. that, and cunning craftiness, mm-hmm. whereby they mm-hmm. lie in wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in love, mm-hmm. may grow up into mm-hmm. him in all things, which is mm-hmm. the head, even Christ. Now listen to 16. Mm-hmm. From which the mm-hmm. whole body, fitly joined together mm-hmm. and compacted, by mm. that which every joint mm. supplieth, mm. according to the Hallelujah. effectual working, in the measure of every mm. part. So there's every joint and every part. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every joint is talking about the fivefold. Every part is talking about the general church. Every part. Okay. Okay. So in the body of Christ, the joints and ligaments are actually the pastors, prophets, teachers, evangelists, apostles. Wow. So what scripture is saying here is this, that. <laughs> you have listened to Gnostic teachings from strange teachers. Oh. But using the power of the head, oh. even which is in the body, oh. by which the joints, apostles, prophets, oh. teachers, evangelists, have released, having nourishment ministered, Mm. Now look at it in the King James. Ministered. Ministered. Past tense. Ministers. Mm. Having nourishment. Ministered. So he's saying that these apostles, prophet, fivefold ministers, they are the conduits for the release of that which is coming from the head by ministering to us. Hallelujah. So what the pastors, teachers, evangelists, and our fivefold ministers do for us is they minister nourishment to us. And Hallelujah. we are knit together so that Hallelujah. we increase with the increase of God. The increase of God. Because he's saying that, that's what I mentioned earlier on, that it looks as if they are being, they are bloated. Mm. I mentioned it in 18. Mm. He said mm. they're pumped mm. up. Is, the way pumped up is mm. they are inflated like a balloon. And inflation looks like <laughs> a, a, an increase in size. Brothers and sisters, not. not every increase in size is growth. Some increase in size is swelling. And swelling can be painful. Swelling right. typifies disease in body. So mm. increase in size is not always an increase in size from God. That's mm. why I said this one increased with the increase of God. It is the increase. Mm. <laughs> Am I the one who is frozen or is frozen? Them? Is the prof has frozen on me. Is it me or prof? Can somebody help me? Can can you hear me? Is it prof? Or is it myself? Hallelujah. Okay, the network. All right, Prof. Okay, it's Prof. Okay, he's coming. He'll come back right now. Oh, God. May we increase by the increase of God. Hallelujah. What a word. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for God's gift. Thank God for God's gift. We thank God for the life of Prophet Adam. The Lord increase him in wisdom. The Lord increase him, establish him, cause him to grow more and more. Ah, what a blessing. What a blessing. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Hallelujah. All right. We got Prof. We got him. Yes, we got him. 
Yes, we got it. Yes, we got it. Okay, Baba. <laughs> Uh, uh, the, the increase of God is affecting the internet. <laughs> All right, Prof. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear? Can you hear me? Uh -huh. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Okay. okay. All right, Prof, continue. I'm coming. Just continue. I'm coming right now. Okay. All right, sir. All right. So what happened now is this, that now from the scripture, it's now saying something very interesting, that we have come to a place in respect to the All right. All right. Okay. Now, now, scripture is saying that now we receive, we use the strength of the head and Grow in God, having nourishment ministered. And I'm saying that the word having, the, the, the phrase having nourishment ministered is actually coming from the. Okay. All right. All right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Having nourishment, actually, you know, is saying to us then that this having nourishment is actually a product or an act that is passive. Okay? It's, it's an act that is passive. I think I'm gone. Uh, uh, uh. Hello? Prof, I have a problem. Are you okay? Uh, yes, sir. We can hear you now, sir. Are, are you okay. better? Wonderful. Yes, I'm better now. Yes. All right. Wow. So having wow. nourishment, Glory. yeah, having nourishment ministered mm. is actually a present passive mm. participle. Okay. What it means mm. is that it's a continuous process that is going on. That's that's why it implies mm. that this is not just a one-time event that happened in eternity. Neither is it a one-time yes, event that happened on the cross. It's an event that is ever continuous and going on, even at the time Paul was talking, mm. and still stands at the time we, who are listening, or who are mm. receiving this word, operates in us. Mm. Okay? Mm. But he's saying this, that it's passive because he's, the, the, the fivefold, these joints and ligaments are receiving from the strength of the Lord. Okay. So having nourishment means that they have received nourishment. And ministered it to us. Mm. And he, so, they, so the five will now stand in the gap to receive nourishment from the Lord and minister to us. Okay? And when they minister to us, they minister this thing that's the life of Christ for the purposes mm. of we being knit together. Mm. And the word knit together is the word sung by Basil. Okay, and some by Basel oh. is actually <laughs> actually an interesting word which implies to come oh. to the same conclusion and same opinion. Oh. So we are holding the head, and the ministering from the head is for us to think like the head thinks. So the picture is like as the it's, it's, you know, it's like you know, um, sometimes there's live match versus recorded match, or you are watching a live yeah. field. Versus you are at the stadium. When you hold your phone at the yes, stadium, sir. the goal is scored in the stadium and it takes a while to reflect on your phone. That's how it's, it's supposed to yeah. be. And Paul is saying that yeah. in this instance, the joints and the ligaments, which is the apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists, are the middlemen mm. that help to minister to us the saints mm. for the purpose of having the same conclusion. The same opinion mm. in every matter. Based on what mm. they are releasing to us in line with what has been ministered from Christ. Mm. Mm. And the reason why he's saying what he's saying is because if you notice what I just said, mm. some people crept in to teach these things. Let no man beguile you, but rather hold on mm. to the head. So the men who are beguiling are the people who are the teachers of Gnosticism. 
But he's saying that the people oh. that you should listen to are those who have received ministering and nourishment from the head, which is Christ. Hallelujah. And the minister that same revelation of receiving nourishment from Christ to us. Oh. So that now we oh. come to the same conclusion and opinion with them to connect oh. with Christ. That's what it oh. means now. So now, like what we are doing oh. right now, we are doing the work oh. of the joints and ligaments. We are receiving nourishment from oh. the head. And we are communicating oh. to you so that you come to the same conclusion, opinion, appreciation oh. with us. Then we can all increase with the increase of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow. Then we can increase with the increase of wow. God. Wow. That's why I said, let no man. Even, he said, let no man, whether bishop, whether reverend, if the person starts communicating Gnosticism, he said, the person must receive nourishment from the head. And how does he receive that nourishment? Oh. He said, using the strength of the head. So it means that our teaching and our preaching should communicate that even if you want to, listen, when you go and read Galatians chapter 5, the Bible says in yes. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, 23, when he ends, he says, to such there is no law. To such there is oh. no law. In Galatians 5, 23. Oh. To such there is no law. The word such implies oh. that to the same that are in such category, actually the fruit of the Spirit is one. According to Galatians yeah. chapter 5, verse 22, yeah. it said the fruit of the Spirit, not fruits, the fruit of the Spirit is, not are. So it tells you the fruit of the Spirit is one, and it is love. Because when you get to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, from verse 1, it said... Oh. If mm. I prophesy, I speak in tongues, have not love, I be like a sounding symbol. Then from verse 4, he says that love is kind, love is patient, love is gentle. Mm. All the things that mm. is listed in 1 Corinthians 13 is listed in Galatians. Oh. But when Galatians was ending, he said to such. To such means that these are not all. Yes, no, no. Because oh. Galatians, <laughs> he didn't mention lowliness. It's not part of it. True, there are certain virtues in the Bible that were Ephesians mentions in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 1 to 3. Mm. He mentions forbearance. Mm. Mm. There are certain things mm. that are not mentioned in uh, uh, what you call it, Galatians, but he says to such, mm. so, to such category of things, there is no law. And do you mm. know what the meaning of the law is? I mentioned to you yesterday that the law is that which demands. The law provokes you to do. The Lord employs your strength. The Lord employs your strength. Do, 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 do. By saying that to the fruit of the spirit. Now, time will fail us to go there. That love you are seeing is not the love of I love my brother. No. It is the love in Matthew chapter 5. But when they slap you, turn the other cheek. Hey. If someone demands your shirt, he said, give him your coat too. If someone says, let's go one mile, he said, go two miles. So it is actually the life of God. The life of God is this. You don't do it by convenience. I don't put you in my car because you are going my way. I put you in my car even though you are not going my way and go and drop in your house before I go to my house. That is divine life. It comes by the influence of the Holy Spirit. It does not come by common sense. You see, we've not explained the fruit of the Spirit well, so we think we can do it. So someone says, you must bear fruit. It's not you bearing fruit. Go to John 15. Oh. You don't bear fruit by yourself. You bear fruit by being oh. in Him. Right. Once you are in Him, you receive the sap life from Him, and you begin to bear fruit. Once oh. you are connected to Him, you oh. will bear fruit without oh. effort. Oh, oh, oh. But sometimes the fruit of the Spirit is taught that you must love. You must be patient. It's not you must. That's, that's Gnosticism. That has entered the church. You right. using your strength. But right. Bible says, receiving the strength from the head. Using the strength from the head. So Jesus, I'm struggling to love. Jesus, I'm, I'm struggling to be excited. Jesus, I'm struggling to have joy. I receive your strength for joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So even yes, the joy God. is not your joy. It's God's joy that you collect Hallelujah. for yourself. And All that right. becomes your strength. So Bible said to such yeah. there is no law. Law means that to such there is no demand for self-effort. That's what that mm. scripture simply means. Mm. To mm. such things, they don't use law. They don't use mm. thou shalt not. No. To such the spirit mm. must leave it out. Mm. Mm. Because you know even perfect love, according to Matthew chapter 5, is loving your enemies, praying for those who despitefully use you. The spite flu use you oh. means they didn't do it by mistake. They knew what they were doing oh. and destroyed you, messed you up, disgraced you, and Bible said, pray and love them. Oh. That is the love in Galatians 5. It comes only from the Spirit. It can't come from you. Oh. It can't come from you. It comes only oh. from the Spirit. It comes only from the Spirit. And that's what he's saying. The oh. moment we enter into that realm, and we, last, we start connecting to the joints and ligaments that God has placed in the body, we receive nourishment yes, on the premise of the strength of Christ, 
which yes, works sir. in us so that we can increase with the increase of God. Then the issue he put across now comes to be explained in the verse 20. Now verse 20 now gets into what some versions call legalism, but it's actually called asceticism. Now asceticism is actually a very interesting, uh, and you understand why I was talking about to such there's no law. He says yes, in asceticism, that's A-S-C-E-T-I-C-I-S-M. Okay? Yes, sir. He says that, Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ, now listen, if ye be dead, yes. and the word dead is aorist, it occurred on yes, the sir. cross. It occurred on the cross, according to knowing oh. this, the body, of sin is dead, it's crucified, your old man is crucified, that the body of sin might be destroyed, mm. it happened on the cross once mm. and for all, he said knowing wherefore if ye be dead or therefore if you are dead with Christ, from the rudiments, mm. and we understood initially in mm. Colossians chapter 2, the rudiments speaks of the structure of the cosmos yes, the structure of the cosmos the structure mm. of the cosmos. What is the structure mm. of the cosmos? Worldliness. Mm. Worldliness. Mm. Worldliness. <laughs> Worldliness. The structure of the cosmos. He says that mm. why as though living in this world are ye subject to ordinances? Mm. So oh. the ordinances are do's, don't do, sit, don't sit. And that's what he said in verse 20, 21. Touch not, taste not, handle not. Oh. Oh. And yesterday we mentioned, I said, this legalism is a very serious matter. Because you see, what happens here is that oh. in, uh, in many religious practices, as I said, uh, as, as, as asceticism, okay? And these religions, oh. you find it even in Buddhism, abstaining oh. from foods. In fact, some religions believe that when you eat and you like it, it's a sin. Oh. Oh. But when you read scripture, <laughs> in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2, Solomon boasted and said, who is me? Who is like me, Solomon, that eateth more than me? That's what he said. He said, he said no one can eat more than me. That's what Solomon said in Ecclesiastes chapter 2. He said he can eat more than anyone he knows in this life. That's what Solomon said. And even scripture said, God, <laughs> by providing food for us, has communicated to us his covenant. Hallelujah. The faithfulness of his covenant. But in asceticism, you are being, you, you use self-effort. In fact, there was a group of people called the Stylites. And these Stylites believed that the earth was, was dirty, destroyed, and damned. So they, if they touch or walk on the earth, they are defiled. So they started building pillars in the mountain top, so that they don't touch the earth. So they just sit on the tree, and they bath once a year. That's when they have received, they receive visitors ah. once a year. They just sit on the pillar on top of because they want to be they want to be away from the earth, so that they are clean and holy. Using self affliction to acquire sanctification and holiness, the church is allowing. Listen, that's what I'm saying. Paul wrote to them that they should be careful because that same thing is affecting us today. What is it? If we look to mm. the Lord for salvation, we must look to the Lord mm. for sanctification. Mm. Mm. You say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Mm. I'm saved. Why don't you still raise that same hand and say, Lord, sanctify me? You are using your own mm. effort. I won't do it. I will refrain myself. Mm. That is asceticism. <laughs> you are inflict. It's like you eat certain things. A lot of us don't mm. fast from revelation. We fast from asceticism. We want to fast mm. to feel spiritual. We fast. Mm. To, so it's like, as soon as you finish a fast, well, everybody should know you did 40 days. Ta -ba -ba -ba. But that's how, it, that's how it is. And he's saying that, touch not. Don't taste. Don't eat. Because in asceticism, they believe that you shouldn't have pleasure in this life. You shouldn't have pleasure in this life. Nothing should be pleasurable to you. Some even say you yeah. should abstain from sex, even with your wife. A lot of rules because of inflicting yourself in a certain state 
of holiness. And that's what Paul said. If you are dead to these things and dead to the rudiments of the world. So the world is not just bad things. Though. The world is also certain ideas, certain unregenerate ideas of approach to God. It's also part of the world. Because he mentions yeah. the last of the flesh, last of the eyes, and pride of yeah. life. Yes, sir. And those were the... F- and look at the focal points Jesus was tempted in. He was tempted in all points. There are three points of temptation. That's why scripture didn't say he was tempted in all things. He was tempted in all points. The points is the pride of life, the, the last of the flesh, and the last of the eyes. So when Jesus was being tempted, turn this bread to water. Miracle. But it was worldly. If he turned the stone oh. to bread, it was worldly. If Jesus jumped and the Lord would keep his angels charge over him, he used the worldly appreciation oh. of God. For instance, like I say, oh. a Christian comes to God and I was sharing with somebody today and gets angry oh. at God that I'm not married. Why am I not married? I should be married by now. Because they think God is a genie. When you come to Christianity, God must do your wishes. The life you are living is about you. So someone goes like, oh, so man of God, Does that mean God will not look at what I like in a man to give me a husband? Because you think God is is in your life to do what you want. No. He said in scripture, has thou known the ordinances of heaven that thou mightest set rule upon the earth? In Job chapter 38. Jesus prayed in Matthew chapter 27, uh, uh, Matthew 27, John chapter 17. Yes, sir. That Father... Yes, sir. Not my will be done, but your will be done. And I always ask this question. Jesus was not a man. He was God. So the will of Jesus Christ was not corrupted. It was a holy will. Yet Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. Even Jesus on earth realized that he didn't come for himself. He came for the Father. So it is not what he wants. Mm. It's not I want to marry. It's, it's, not, it's, what? it's what the father wants. Let me show you something about the blessedness of possessing nothing, mm. according to D.O. Moody. Mm. That blessedness is this. Mm-hmm. Everything you want and have in life is Christ. One. Every other thing that will come by it is God's business. Mm. So that now God tells you that, son, I'm going to give you a plane because of the ministry. Then I activate my faith for that thing. Because it's on the other side, I see my brother building an university. Pastor Isaiah builds an university and names it Isaiah mm. Institute of, of, of what's called technology or mm. whatever it is. Then I also technology. say, oh, because yeah. I'm, also, I'm also a prophet, I'm also going to build it because we have, we have anointing. So me, I will die Hapaya. building that university. <laughs> you know why? Because the fact that yes, he is yeah. doing it and is working does not mean God has allowed me to also do the same. Hallelujah. The moment we make God Hallelujah. a genie, we get frustrated in this <sighs> life because we want God to be doing everything we want and we don't realize that we have to rather line what we want to what he wants. And someone said something that I love so much. He said, when you were a baby in Christ, you always tell God what you want. But when you mature in Christ, Christ you now ask him what he wants to be done. What he wants. What he wants in Christ. Oh. So in a, oh. you have to be very careful. And say, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. That is asceticism. That is asceticism. Oh. In other words, you are like, mm, like this, I watch TV too much. No more TV. No more TV. You are trying to inflate right. yourself. If it does not come from the spirit, because remember 19 said, holding the head, receiving strength from the head. Oh. Receiving strength from the head means oh. that, brothers and sisters, Do you turn your head without permission from your head? Do you walk to your room without permission from your head? So your head tells you, go to the room before you go. Then it is effortless to the leg. Mm. The moment the leg wants to Mm. go somewhere without the permission of the head, it becomes something funny. There's Mm. a struggle. Mm. Mm. So he is saying the antidote to asceticism is hold the head. Hold the head means that, Papa, this TV thing is too much. Mm. What do you think? The Lord will say, oh, don't watch TV at 6 o'clock. Watch it at 8 o'clock. Or watch TV... Mm. Only when you are eating. Then you know that it has mm. come from the head. So there is strength to stay controlled. And the wow. strange thing is this. God is impressed when the reason why we are staying from things is coming from his energy and not our energy. Because if it's coming from our energy, we are telling God that your death is useless. I can still do it by myself. Mm. Mm. That's why God is not impressed. you see it in the next verse. See what he says. Which all are to perish with the using 
and the commandments and the doctrines of men. He said it will perish. It will not have reward on that day because you mm. did it by yourself. Mm. It was not by grace. Mm. Mm. It is God who wills in us. Let me tell you something. Your reward is going to be based on your availability for what God has done inside you. So if you allow him to work it in you and you work it out, that is where you get reward. So if you can even stay without, oh. that's why a young ruler came to the Lord and said, I have kept the law all my life. Jesus rather said, oh, you have done well. Oh. I've been holding oh. on myself, you have done well. And he looked at him and said, oh. go and sell all you have for the poor. You know what Jesus did to him? Jesus intentionally gave him a command that his natural self cannot uh, oblige because he was called a rich ruler. Yeah. So he, the very thing that made yeah. him rich, he said, go and sell it. So Jesus was trying to tell him that the basis for the reason why you are saying you have committed and kept all the law is because of yourself. Mm. And if you can't mm. sacrifice everything you have, then it means the self is the reason you did all you did. Then he said, it's a difficult mm. thing. Then Jesus said, mm. then listen to what Jesus said today. It's a difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God than and a camel to enter into the eye of a needle. Then he said, yeah. What do you call it? Of course, remember the, the, the eye of a needle is a gate. It's a needle gate. So that gate was a camel gate. Actually, when the camel is going through, he has to mm. bend low, crawl through the gate. And they have to take everything around the gate, the camel, for the camel to mm. crawl without any luggage mm. through that small needle mm. gate. Mm. That's how the needle gate was. Mm. So he was trying to say that it's difficult because for the rich man is like the camel. He has to remove all his mm -hmm. encumbrance and load before he can pass through the narrow gate. And he said to Peter that, oh, to man it's impossible, but with God it is possible. Why? Mm. If man will use the energy of God, these things are easy to be done. Mm. Mm. That's why I said, with man, this is impossible, but with God it is possible. Mm. Why? If you are mm. going to rely on the strength of God, it is easy to sell all your possessions, and you will not think twice about it. Mm. Because it's not coming from mm. you. It is coming from holding mm. the head. When you hold the head, mm. you do things that everybody goes like, ah, how are you able to do these things without ease? And you realize that something oh. is happening. It's the operation of God in you. Oh. It's the operation oh. of God in you. You're able to let matters Hallelujah. go. You're able to sow seeds Hallelujah. that people go like, ah, how do you sow these things? God is oh. operating through you. Oh. So it is an easy thing oh. for you. It's an oh. easy thing oh. for you. It's an easy thing for you. Oh. Then it says in the verse 23, that, oh, balaba, shaba, it says now in verse 23 that these things, oh, now I'm ending, I'm ending. He says, which things indeed show of wisdom in will worship and humility and in the neglecting of the body, not oh. in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Oh. What he's saying? He's saying that when you do these things, like by yourself, you have been humble. Oh. By yourself, oh. you are polite. You have domestic oh. humility, domestic politeness and courtesy. Oh. Because you've read courtesy for boys and girls. You know how to talk. <laughs> It's all domestic. It's, you know, some people naturally, they are quiet. So domestically, they look humble. Some people naturally, yeah. they are very kind. So they look like, oh, this is a Christian. If it has not passed through the cross, it is not accepted by God. Mm. So you can be kind by yourself, but if it has not passed through the cross, there's no reward for it. Now listen to this. Oh. <laughs> listen, listen to this. So he said, it, is, it has a certain wisdom in it. It has a certain beauty in it. That's why the Stoics, that's why the occultists, that's why those who get into higher dimensions of grandmasteredness in occultism, they can keep themselves mm. from certain passions. They are not Christians, mm. but they don't do certain things. They have kept their mm. body. It's by their effort. Mm. And he says that such acts mm. pass out as a popular display of wisdom. Oh. Mm. By self-imposed vigor and devotion to mm. self-humiliation -humil at the severity okay, of the discipline of the flesh. But scripture said it has no value. Mm. It has no value in the curbing and the destroying of the indulgence of the flesh. Because remember, mm. you are using your flesh to be humble. You are using your flesh to be wise. You are using your flesh to display mm. spirituality. And he says, as you are doing mm. that, that does not destroy. That's what it means. He says that there is no honor in the satisfying of the flesh. Mm. It does not care mm. or destroy the indulgence of the flesh. But let me read from the Mofa translation. See what he said in, mm. verse, in, verse, in verse 22. Okay, let's read from 21. 
it says, or 20, it says, as you died with Christ to the elemental spirits of the world, why live mm. as if you still belong to this world? Mm. Why submit to the rules and regulations like hand off this, taste not that, touch not this, all referring to the mm. things that per perish by being used. These rules mm. are determined by human precepts and tenets. Mm. They Hallelujah. get the name for, of wisdom for their self-imposed devotions, their fasting, and their vigorous discipline of the body. But they are of no mm. value. They simply pamper mm. the flesh. Mm. So you think you are starving your flesh mm. by not eating certain things. You think you are, but you are actually mm. making the self, the flesh, more confident in itself. Mm. Mm. This, the flesh believes itself that I, I, can, I, can, I can resist some things. And the strength is not from the Lord, it's from yourself. So mm. you say you are pampering mm. the flesh by this act. Mm. You are mm. pampering the flesh by this act. So I'm just saying to you, mm. brothers and sisters, we mm. have to hold the head. Hold the head. Mm. Hold the head. Mm. Hold the head. That's verse 20, 22 and 23. Hold the head. Mm. Hold the head. Mm. Hold the head. Receive the strength of the head. Let me give you an example. Hallelujah. When you are about to Hallelujah. pray, pray by his leading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you want to wake up at dawn, tell the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, wake me up at the appropriate time. Mm. Hallelujah. So if it's four o'clock, praise God. If it's five o'clock, praise mm. God. Lord, mm. wake me up. You just be lying down. You hear your name. Something will tap your leg. You wake up. When you wake up, mm. start praying. Mm. Start praying because there's now therefore no strengthlessness. The strength is in the command. <laughs> Stop using mm. your effort because it says, as you use your effort, you have, you have, you have, you have kept yourself for long. Uh, he said, there's no reward for you because mm. when we get to heaven, I'll show you tomorrow, uh, sorry, next week, mm. when we get to heaven, That's right. you think you have, you have kept yourself from certain things, but God is not impressed because yeah. you didn't use him. Mm. He was not the means wow. by which you did it. So it is not going to receive glory. Yeah, you did it by yourself. Mm. You, you, some people have that mm. self-discipline. They can, they can withhold themselves from a lot of things. Mm. I know when you read Okot Grandmaster in Christ, they could fast like three years. Some, some could fast one year based on the power they wanted. Some could refrain from wow. food for a long time because they want to encounter higher powers. You go and check it. Some mm. people, when they are even mm. being courted into occultism or courted into uh, 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 being a chief priest in their family, all of a sudden they are locked up in a room and for days they don't eat. So by the time they come, they can encounter powers. And certain things. Why is wow. this? Let us know preach by this. <laughs> Let us pray by the love, the strength, and the energy mm. of God. As we do this, mm. we'll be able to come to the reality. And from, from next week, we mm. say that if ye therefore be risen with Christ, mm. we we'll understand this new reality. Uh, and that's where we start practicing the holding of the head. So next, next week is going to be more practical in communications. Mm. And you see, mm. you see those things. Great. Yes, someone Great. just sent a very powerful scripture. It says, when you yeah. wake up at dawn yeah. to pee, don't yeah. go and sleep again. Listen, if the Holy Ghost has not commanded yeah. it, you are going to scream in the air. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I'll show you next week. A lot of the prayers we pray, God has not commanded it. So we are, we are uh, not different they, from, uh, we are not uh, different from occults or people just doing <laughs> certain things, making sounds in the wow. air without the Lord. Oh, no, no. Glory to God. Glory to God. Man of God. Yes, sir. I don't, I don't know what to do to you. I just don't know what to do to you. It's a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing. You know, people of God, because of the nature of, the, uh, uh, should I say, the B parts, we have been doing the A parts. We're doing the A parts. That's what Prof made us understand well, that Paul always write his letters divided majorly into two. The doctrine and then the practice. So, from chapter one to the two, are, are you seeing how chapter one to the two taking us like two weeks or three weeks? Yeah, about about three weeks, two weeks, yeah, yeah two no, weeks, two. yeah, two about weeks, eight sessions or so, about two, weeks. eight sessions, about eight, eight, eight sessions, weeks, two yeah. sessions, and that one is to be summary. That is summary. <laughs> I saw some of you uh, saying that God should speak to me, so they can't meet. They can't meet in there to come on. I, Hallelujah. That's if, you are, if you are ready to register very well. Yeah, because <laughs> we, must get, we must get a, a nice place 
you know, where you can, we can be drinking coffee while we are soaking the word, you know, must be a very powerful place. I mean, at least there's an extent. So when it's ready, I'll let you know the camp will come on. So come on. So come on. But um, we're looking at, because of the nature of how chapter three to four will look like, we want it to be interactive. All right? So um, I was telling Prof that I was looking at us doing it a Zoom meeting. Okay? A Zoom meeting. Um, what do you think? Let me just hear from two or three people. Your comments. Because I, I feel the Zoom, the Zoom, uh, you, you will see ourselves, you can communicate easily, all right? If, if, if Prof has to do, draw some diagrams or something, he can do that with Zoom, okay? If he has to, you know, explain some things in a certain way, he can do that. So, I know, but I think, I think Zoom will, will, will do a great work. Zoom will do a great work. Zoom will do a great work. So, the, the chapter three and four will be done on Zoom. Oh, somebody said no. <laughs> somebody <laughs> said no. I, I, I think I'm going nah. to we'll discuss it and see. Yeah, we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. Uh -huh. um, then probably when we we'll are ending, we'll do the that. questions on Zoom. Yes. Okay, okay. Then we can look at it. We can look at it that way. Because I, 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 I want us to really soak in. No, um, Zoom, when, you are, when you're on premium, you can host 300 people. It's another package. You can host a thousand people on Zoom. Wow. I'm on premium. I can host 250 people at a go. So, so there's more to Zoom than than some of you perhaps might think. Might be thinking. <laughs> yeah. So, if uh, and and because I'm on premium, we can do. If it's six hours, it won't go, it won't break at all. Yeah, yeah, it won't break. Uh, Pastor Jenny, I'm going to give an assignment. Oh, no, I see that you already. Pastor Jenny asked the question. But we have, we have about, we have about uh, <laughs> less than 15 minutes or so to end it. So, um, Pastor Jenny, can you, can you be the one to co collate all the questions? Pastor Jenny, can you do that for us? So, um, people of God, Pastor Jenny, just put a message, uh, just put a um, hello right now and pin that comment with, with your, with your uh, what do you call it, your ID. Is it ID? What do you call it? Your handle. All right? So that anyone that has questions so far from chapter one, chapter two, they can send it to your inbox and then you can, you can collate it and we're going to use that um, so powerfully in, in the coming weeks. All right? Yeah. So um, uh, 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 I'll, I'll discuss it with, with the team and then also we we'll see what we can do. All right? But I, for me, I think this is going to be a great idea. Let's see how it's going to work. All right? It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. And for further information, you can get to our Telegram page, Edify to Edify. Just go to my bio, my bio, and then click. That's Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny, add your, your, your handle, your IG handle to it. You can go to my bio and click on, um, on, uh, what do you call, on the Telegram link there, and you can join the Telegram so that uh, you, can, you can have... Uh, access to any other information, all right? Yeah, so we, we can work around it, we can work, but I think the Zoom is gonna be a good idea. I've been using Zoom for, for a while now. It's great, it'll be great, it'll be great, it'll be great. All right, so um, Moses, Moses, I need to have a chat with you. I need to have a chat with you, Moses. So after, after the service, I don't have a chat with you, Moses. You know the design for us, okay? Moses, it's a blessing. Prof. Yes, sir. You're a blessing, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I've been so tired for some, some, some days and weeks now. <laughs> I tell you. Uh, I tell you. <laughs> it's I amazing. Tell you. Faithful. Praise God. God is faithful. Praise and uh, people Praise of God, God, we are doing because, as Paul said, I long to see you that I may impart unto you spiritual gift by you to be established. It's the establishment that is our focus. No, so please take this moment serious. Please get to um, YouTube. All the videos are on YouTube. Every of the sessions are on YouTube. Beautifully packaged there. All right. So 
Um, just get to the YouTube. Yes, Prof is an amazing gift to the generation. This generation. In the name of God, we celebrate God for his life. Please go to the, the YouTube uh, channel. Just look for Pastor Isaiah Posukwati Jr. And then subscribe. Okay, so that anytime we upload the videos there, you can get on there. And there are some very powerful, um, very beautiful worship um, videos there. I, I, I think it's going to bless you. Pastor E Rock, I celebrate you, sir. I just spotted you. God bless you, man of God. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. I've been following the work God is doing with you. God bless you, Pastor yeah. E Rock. I celebrate God. Yeah, Pastor e Rock. I pray for greater grace to you, sir. More grace God. to you. Praise God. Yes, God. This generation. God bless you so, so much. So, so much. So, people of God, next week, going on Zoom, is going, to be, it's going to be practical, powerful time. You don't want to miss it. Hallelujah. 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 So, I'm giving you Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Go and soak. Soak all the videos. Soak all the videos. Soak it. All right, so it very well. If you have any questions, just please do well to get in touch with um, Pastor Jenny, and then she's going to collect your questions so that we can be able to have a great time going through all of that. I love you all so much. I may not know you, but I know you in the spirit. And I know yeah. that it will turn out for a great thing in your life. The reason I know after this COVID, the devil is in trouble because of what we are doing here. <laughs> Among other things that Christ is doing in other places. Praise I know. God. Praise no, God. The devil is in trouble. <laughs> Amen. You know, I, I, I heard a man of God made a statement, very powerful. <laughs> the man was enjoying the Holy Ghost. I said, God punished the devil and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, I when the devil is married. He said, God punish all of that. Um, I said, oh, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing. It's a... I I just love you so much. You're an amazing man of God, in person in every way. Bless you so much. God bless oh, yeah. you. It's my prayer that the Lord will just keep taking you deep in wisdom, in His Word, and keep you for the generations, generations. I pray that 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 the church will learn to celebrate you, sir. People of God that were on the Lord grant unto us that we will be filled with the knowledge of God in all wisdom Jesus and spiritual name. understanding. I pray that we all will walk in that dimension, understanding the Sophia. We we'll walk oh, in that dimension. The complete knowledge, the epignosis, the place of complete yes, knowledge. Yes, the yes, of yes, knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name Lord, of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. And please, um, hopefully, I'm, I'm sure on Wednesday, I'm led to do a, a, a live worship time. So get, you'll get information. The time is up already. we got to run. Bye-bye. Go to church. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 20 seconds. 18 seconds. 17 seconds. 16. 18. 12.